Hello, James here from Iconic, and I wanted to show you how you could easily customize the product image gallery in your WooCommerce store. So here we've got the storefront theme, and this is the default gallery that you see once you install the theme uh, and get some products imported. Um, so it works, but you're limited in terms of what you can do. You can't customize it really without having some kind of code knowledge, um, whether it's CSS or uh, JavaScript or some PHP to manipulate it in a way that you see fit. Um, so this is where our WooThumbs plugin comes in. If I refresh the page now, this is the same page, but with our WooThumbs plugin installed and activated. So you can see it looks similar in layout. Um, it's a little bit cleaner. The thumbnails are better sized. Uh, and the great thing is that all of this is customizable. So for example, if you wanted to move the thumbnails up to the left hand side or even above the picture or to the right hand side, it's as easy as changing a few settings. You don't have to have any code knowledge at all to be able to do that. So if we come to the back end, the first thing you'll see after installing WooThumbs is the onboarding modal, which is basically a few simple steps and it takes you through an easy way to configure the plugin as soon as you've installed it. So let's say we want the thumbnails to show up on the left hand side. We'll continue. Uh, we want the transition between images to be a fade transition. And we'll save those settings. Now when we load the page again, you'll see the thumbnails are now on the left hand side of the image. Uh, and when we change image, it's a fade transition. So you saw how simple that was. Literally in a few seconds, we had a completely different gallery setup. Um, but that's not all you can do. If you come back to the settings page, you have all of these settings that you can play with. So you, if the gallery doesn't quite fit how it should um, in your theme, you're able to customize that. Uh, the default width for storefront is 42%. And as it goes down to mobile, it will stretch the gallery to 100%. On top of that, you can change the icon colors, uh, choose whether they display all the time like they are currently or whether they only show on hover. You can enable icon tool tooltips. So if I save that and refresh, we get a little prompt that says what the icon is for. And another great feature is that you can quite easily customize the image sizes. Um, so visually here, the images will mostly look the same, but the actual size it's loading in is quite important in terms of page speed uh, and that can all be configured here. With a, with a default WooCommerce setup, you can't do that very easily, uh, especially when it comes to changing the thumbnail sizes. Um, so you can set the width and you can set the crop ratio for them. And then you can also choose what size image is used uh, when we zoom. We then have the carousel settings, so you can choose the mode uh, as you saw in the original onboarding. So you can have it horizontal, so the images will slide sideways. Uh, vertical, so the images will slide up and fade, as you just saw. You can change the transition speed between those effects. You can set the slider to auto place, so as soon as you load the page, the slides will transition automatically after five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. And you can tell it whether to infinitely loop those images, um, which is set to do. So when we get to the end image and click right again, it goes back to the first image. The next settings are for self-hosted uh, media, so MP4 videos. 
um, which we've actually got one here. So you can choose whether to show the video controls. You can choose whether the video loops once it gets to the end, and you can choose whether to auto play the video. So if your video is the first uh, slide in your product gallery, it would automatically play when you load the page. The navigation settings are for the navigation of transitioning between slides. Um, so you can enable the previous and next arrows, as you can see there. You can enable or disable the thumbnails completely if you want to. So get rid of that. Uh, you can choose whether the thumbnails are sliding or stacked. And you can choose the position here. So if I put them back below um, and tell it to display three thumbnails at a time in sliding formation, then you can see we've got three thumbnails there and you can click to slide to the next one. So this is a great feature if you want to save a bit of space on your product page. If your thumbnails are set to be on the left or the right, you can choose how much space they take up. So by default, it takes up 20% of the image area. Um, you can choose the transition speed if you're using sliding thumbnails. And you can also space the thumbnails out uh, or you know tuck them in so they're right up next to each other. And the final setting is whether you want to enable bullets uh, for your navigation. So if we turn that on and take a look, it's those. So moving on, we've got the zoom settings. So you can choose to enable or disable the zoom completely. Uh, and then you've got three different zoom types. So the default is inner, uh, which means that the zoom just shows in place of the image. But you can also set it to outside, which looks like this, similar to what you'd see on Amazon. And you can also set it to follow, which is a kind of magnifying glass effect, which looks like this. So you can see even the zoom options are pretty flexible. Uh, and depending on the setting that you choose for the zoom type, you can configure, for example, the outside uh, or follow zoom lens size. So by default, it's 200 pixels. Uh, you can choose where the zoom box is um, if you use outside zoom. You can choose the, the color of the overlay. And for follow zoom, you can choose the shape, so it could be square or circular. Uh, again, there's a full screen mode. You can turn it on or off. You can trigger it when you click anywhere within the image and you can tell it whether to display the title once the gallery is open. And that's the title of the image. So this is the full screen mode here, if we click that. That's the title that's showing up. Obviously, it hasn't got a great name, um, so you can turn that off if you want, or you can just attach better names to your images. And this gallery here is completely mobile friendly as well. Um, when you're on a mobile, you can pinch and zoom these images uh, and you can also, you know, drag to swipe uh, to change the slide. And you can also drag the gallery here to, to change the slide. And finally, we have these responsive settings. So you can say once the browser size gets to a certain pixel width, um, we want to change how the gallery looks. So by default, we set it to 768 pixels, which is quite common. Uh, and then after that, so for anything between zero and 768 pixels, 
We set the width of our gallery to be 100%, so it fills the, the width of the screen. Um, we've changed the position, so instead of it sitting left, uh, which it is currently next to the summary, we've set it to none, which just means it will sit on its own line um, full width. We've also set it to display the thumbnails uh, under the gallery on mobile devices. Um, this is, you know, most obvious if you had your images set to the left or the right uh, in desktop mode. And it, it just saves a lot of space. And then obviously you can set the number of thumbnails that are visible on mobile. So you could set it to four um, and have all of them visible at the same time. And that's it. That's a, that's the overview of WooThumbs and how you can very easily customize your uh, image gallery without having to know any code or dive into the functions file of your theme um, or you know any kind of CS, uh, CSS customizations. So yeah, I hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions.